Hey, fantasy football friends. So we are headed into week seven of the NFL season, which means it's time for our Waiver Wire Weekly, which is brought to you by Stronghold Financial, because like a Pro Bowl offensive line, Stronghold Financial protects you against life's risks, just like I am protecting you against making the wrong Waiver Wire choice. And we do that through our trusts and our busts. So let's get to our trust this week. Our trust number one, is Frank Gore. Now, Frank Gore is a name that we used to hear a lot in the fantasy circles. He used to be one of the top five running backs to start, but he's been a little bit of a journeyman. Um, now he's landed in Miami, where Kenyon Drake was slated to be the starter, but we're starting to see him gain more and more of the share of the rushing attempts. So that's interesting to me. And he's been more effective than Kenyon Drake as well. This past week against Chicago Bears, bad, uh, sorry, good defense, which we expected the Miami Dolphins not to be able to do very much against, Frank Gore scored, went for 101 rushing yards. That's pretty good. And he's getting more and more attempts each week. He had 11 a few weeks ago, then 12, now 15. So I think what we're seeing down in Miami is I don't know that it's going to be a true timeshare there. I think Frank Gore is really starting to take over in that position. So he's definitely somebody you can pick up, stash on your bench for a little while and see what happens and see if they start rushing him more. Because if he can score 101 rushing yards against the Bears defense, let's see what he can do against a bad defense. Now, another trust that I have for you this week, I have three for you this week because I couldn't decide between these two guys. Number one is Christian Kirk of the Arizona Cardinals. Christian Kirk has quickly become the number one wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, don't kill me. I know you're saying the Arizona Cardinals, but you know what? They had a pretty good offensive game against the Minnesota Vikings this past week, and you cannot deny the target share that Christian Kirk is getting right now. He's getting that target share primarily because he and Josh Rosen have a really nice chemistry together. They're friends. They've known each other for a really long time. And you can see that Josh Rosen trusts him. So if Josh Rosen trusts him, then I guess you can trust him as a waiver wire pick as well. My third waiver wire pick this week is the wide receiver from the LA Rams because we now have Cooper Cup, who's going to be out for at least a few weeks. So the wide receiver, Josh Reynolds, there in LA. He is a sophomore this year. He played a little bit last year, again, in relief of Robert Woods that time. And he was getting a good amount of the targets, and he performed very, very well. And in a high-octane offense like the LA Rams, he's definitely worth a waiver wire pickup. You might not want to start him the first week. Depends on the matchup. But take a look. See how he fits in. Does he fit into that slot role the way Cooper Cup was um, there? And if he does, then he's going to get a good amount of targets. So that's my last trust this week. Let's move on to our bus. Bus this week, Peyton Barber. Everybody has been trying to make Peyton Barber a thing. I don't see it. Yeah, he had a good week, but it was against the Atlanta Falcons. Don't get crazy. This is not a run game you want to trust. Therefore, Peyton Barber is a bust for me. He is not somebody that you can trust on a weekly basis. My other bus, another running back for you, Ido Smith. Yes, he just scored his third touchdown in as many games for the Atlanta Falcons. Again, it was against the Tampa Bay Bucks this last week, so let's think about that. Not somebody that is a, a hard defense to score against. And he did rush the ball 11 times and only picked up 22 yards. So he is a boom or bust type of candidate. To me, that's more of a bust, not a trust. So that's it for our Waiver Wire Weekly this week. Don't forget to tune in on Thursdays to The Daily Blender with Jeffrey O'Brien on 1580 The Fanatic and on Pure Sports with Jeff Bloom on Team 1010 and throughout the week and on Sundays before the game slate on The Sweat from DraftKings. You can also follow me on Twitter for all the latest news and advice at Rosalie Michaels. I'm happy to answer those questions for you there, or you can post them here down below as well. All the links are down below for you. Until next week, I'll see you then.